and welcome to Oaks Class Radio Show. I'm Isabel. And I'm Lisa. Today we are going to be taking you on a journey through learning and sharing what we do in our days in Oak. And we have a special guest coming in to tell us about his role in the school. But first, over to you with the news and sport, Mame and Yakub. Thanks, Lisa. There has been lots happening both around the world and in Bevington. Around the world, we have seen drama in Spain with Catalonia waiting to be independent. There have been severe delays on trains across the United Kingdom due to strikes with rail drivers not being paid enough. And finally, there have been heated discussions within Parliament about Brexit negotiation. And back to us here at Bevan, the Key Stage 2 football pitch has opened back up. Each class has their own day when they can play football. We had an amazing assembly on Tuesday regarding Grenfell Tower and all the amazing work that that please do. Finally, last Friday, we had art morning in which we did pop art. We also painted a poppy which we are using for Remembrance Day, remembering all those that died for us and our country in the war. Thank you, Yakub, and welcome to Bevington Sport News and Sport from around the world. On Sunday, Manchester United played against Chelsea. It was a brilliant goal for Chelsea. However, a disappointing defeat for Man U. In tennis, Roger Federer flew, in, flew to the Glasgow Hydro in Scotland to take on Andy Murray in order to raise money for charity. On the same day, Andy Murray had his second baby. Congratulations, Andy. At, the, at Bevington, sport has also been on the go. During half-term, I, among many others, attended Mr. Dasso's sports camp. He worked us very hard. We have been looking at netball passes in the playground at break and how we can improve this. Finally, at school, we have a record number of pupils attending Taekwondo Club on a Friday. Keep it up, guys. Now, back to you, Yakub. And with a light bit of rain outside and a classroom getting colder by the day, it's back to you in the studio. Thanks, Mommy and Yakub. We are now going to travel through a day in the life of an oak people. We have our very own Asa and Iman to talk to us about what that might look like. Over to you, Asa and Iman. In the class, we have recently finished our first class book, The Wind in the Willows. Iman has an incredible book review for all you listeners. She's going to tell you why you should give it a read. The Wind and the Willows. Mo, Mo was bored of whitewashing, so went outside. Next, he met Ratty the water rat. Then they asked Toad to give them a ride. After that, they crashed into a motor car. Lastly, Toad couldn't stop wasting his money on motor cars. Characters. There were several characters. There was Mole, Toad, Badger and Otter. Otter wasn't the main one. Mole, Toad and Badger were. They were the main ones. That's because Otter was not there for the whole story. Opinion. I think that this story is a very funny and silly book. Because there are a lot of funny parts like when they fought the weasels. I recommend this book because it's full of comedy and that's why I like it too. Thanks, Iman. That sounds great. I may even give it another read. Moving from guided reading, we've been writing some very suspenseful diary entries as if we were Guy Fawkes the night he tried to blow, blow up the Houses of Parliament. We have Ibrahim in the studio who's going to read a piece of work to you. I hope you're not too scared. Thank you, man. Dear diary. 5th of November, 1605. I was waiting in the prison, waiting for Robert. I was scared and petrified. I heard footsteps drew nearer and nearer. Was it Robert? All of a sudden, there was a creak in the door. Soldiers ran in and they stretched me until my execution day, the end. That has freaked me out a bit. Thanks for that. Now I'm going to hand over to a special guest who spends some time in our classroom every week but you might be familiar with seeing him in the playground or even talking about being a master. Thanks, Asa. Yes, you've guessed it. We are very lucky to have JP with us here. JP, we would like to ask you a few questions about your day at Bevington and what this typically looks like. JP, what is your favourite part of any day at Bevington and why? Lunch, lunch, and lunch. 
How long have you been working at Bevington for and how was your role changed over these years? Okay, so I started Bevington, I would say, I think it's eight years ago. And I have gone through a transition of from a, a teacher's assistant to a learning mentor, which I, have, I thoroughly enjoyed both roles. This is a tricky question, but other than Oak, would you say you had a favourite class to spend time in and why? Well, it is a bit of a tricky question, but I would say I like different classes for different reasons, but mainly I like the class who value education the most because education is one of the most important things because once you have it... it no, no one, one can, can take, take it, it from, from you. you. And finally, is there anything you would like to change at Bevington? It could be anything at all. Even making a bigger football pitch? Uh, maybe a helicopter pad, a swimming pool, um, a roof garden. Those are the things maybe that we should look to get. Well, thank you very much, JP. That has been very informative. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, JP. And in Oak, we are slowly but surely becoming learning masters, all thanks to your help. To finish off our show, we have an amazing piece of music played by Adam on the piano. We hope you enjoyed listening. <laughs> Bevington F.